it's time. Now that it's September, I'm comfortable officially declaring it autumn, which is my favorite season for weather, outdoor outings, and clothing. For me, autumn is a great time to play with layers and accessories and more fitted silhouettes because in the summer it's just way too hot and I don't want anything clinging to my body. But in the fall, there are so many more options. So in this video, I'm going to show you some ideas for transitioning summer clothing into autumn wear and also just some autumn outfits that I really look forward to wearing. So the first idea is what you might wear to a bonfire, my favorite. And I think a lot of us have this sort of summer peasant dress now after this year, but I think this can be a three season wear. So I'm taking this tartan stole that I've had for years. I think tartan is a very good autumn fabric. And I have a penannular brooch, which is very Celtic, Viking, medieval. And I'm gonna use that to secure this around me as kind of a shawl. Now, of course you can layer this with a sweater or a jacket, but because of the poofy sleeves, that might be a little hard. So that's why I thought the shawl is the best option. And a little acorn necklace makes everything more fall, right? A nice pair of wooden clogs, as long as it's not too rainy, is cute. And layering it up with some fun socks, as well as some thick black tights, makes this a little bit more weather appropriate for those cooler evenings in early autumn. And then you're ready to just sit by the fire, hang out with friends, get your hair all smoky smelling, which I love. And this gives you enough coverage and warmth, but still allows you to wear those summer sundresses a little bit longer. I love hanging out in cafes, and when my husband and I were dating, we went for coffee quite a lot. And it is PSL season, so I'm looking for a way to style my favorite pinafore, which I think is good for all season wear and does have some nice fall vibes. In the interest of kind of layering and making it overall more interesting, I have this collar that I made with some really cute woodland creature fabric. For sweaters at this time of year, especially pullovers that have a crew neck or a slight boat neck like this one, I like the addition of a collar. It makes everything a little bit more fun and whimsical, which maybe isn't playing on the academia aspect of this uh, style as much, but you know, it's great for kicking back with your PSL. While a good shoulder bag is necessary pretty much all year round for me, I like a leather satchel for fall. Look how cute you'll look, ready to study or have a real date or whatever, in a nice full skirt that you could lay your petticoats under. Fall tends to be quite rainy, and I love the look. I'm going to start with a shirt dress that has a little bit of whimsy to it. I love a classic shirt dress because I think it is a good academic style, but kind of a pastel color makes it more fun. And again, kind of playing with the fact of silhouettes, I'm layering a striped petticoat under it to give it a little more length because it's a little shorter than I like, and leaving a few buttons open to show it off. I'm topping everything off with an oversized trench coat, um, but the sash is way too long, that's why it's knotted up. Um, but I like a big trench coat because then you can layer under it. And both the shirt dress and the jacket have pockets. A fuzzy cowl makes this extra cozy and cute for cooler weather. So then you're ready to run your errands, meet friends, do anything you need to do without getting soaked. And once you take off the jacket, you've got a cute outfit with this nice sort of waist cinching belt to give it a little bit more of a feminine shape. Because a shirt dress is basically based off a men's shirt, just long. And so I like playing with men's wear inspired elements, but in a feminine way. I think that's great for fall. Something about cooler weather just it makes it the perfect time to meet with people and discuss literature, I think. So I'm pairing this with some Thursday ankle boots. Note that none of the brands that I show in this video are actually sponsors. I wish. And if you want to help support my work, I do have a Ko-Fi link in the description. But a nice pair of leather ankle boots, you know, it's perfect for fall. In the vein of accessories, I have this cute little teapot necklace I got from Etsy. Fun fact, while wearing a version of this outfit 
with the teapot necklace out uh, once. I had a barista tell me I look like Alice in Wonderland. And if that's not goals, a literary inspired outfit for book club or a literature class seems extra perfect, don't you think? So I love this nice full skirt in the summer, but it's also nice in cooler weather too. And also cat pockets, you can't really lose with that. If you want to layer a petticoat under it like I've done here, it adds a little extra warmth, helps with the volume, and it can lengthen the skirt too. This is a skirt I made, the coquelicot skirt. I have a video about its making that I'll link. Um, it was a pattern test and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and you can make it too. The pattern is available now. Now trousers are something I've started trying to experiment with more in my wardrobe because they're not my first choice. But I got this pair of just black cotton twill trousers and I think while they might end up being a little bit too lightweight for winter, I think for fall they're good. And if you're heading to the library, you need a nice big messenger bag, you can carry all your books, you're gonna need to be comfy, and I think you also want to look suitably academic. Elbow patches make everything academic. I think I channeled my inner student for this, thinking back to when I was in college, and when you really do just want to be comfy and functional while you're working hard at the library. So it's the simplest outfit. Now, when you're maybe doing your first day of history class, you really want to make an impression, right? And look your best, set the tone. So I thought this was the perfect chance to style my early 16th century inspired blouse into something a little dark academia. Definitely mixing time periods here with this sort of tweed, maybe late 19th century inspired vest. You can also tuck in the shirt to make this look a little neater. I wanted it to look slightly rakish perhaps, and I'm styling it with the same trousers as before. I'll include some links to where I got some of these items, but a lot of them are thrifted and a lot of them are handmade. So as you can see, it gives this sort of fun historical look without really being pinned down to any specific period, but I do think the tweed especially and sort of the full sleeved white shirt play in that dark academia style. And I'm keeping it with the boots from previously. I think it's a good look and I don't usually like trouser looks, so pretty proud of this one. Of course, if you want to look even more rakish, you can cuff up the sleeves. So I put some hooks and eyes on this after I made it that does help the sleeve stay in place unless I want it up to the elbow which it can still get warm during these final days of fall so you might need to so that's it that's our last outfit I hope this helped you give like with some inspiration for how to transition summer pieces and just kind of enjoy a cozy academically appropriate fall wardrobe without losing your sense of style of course this is based around my sense of style so it's just meant to inspire you uh, I hope you stick around I'll be back in a couple weeks with another video. Bye!